Hi and welcome to Core with Stein. This is part 8 of building a time tracking CS using Django and Vue. In this part I'm going to make it possible to show information about the user. It will be almost like the dashboard page but just for one user. But before I start on that I want to add one more thing to the project and that is avatars for the users. So if I go into the user profile app and into models.py, I need to add one more field here. Avatar equals models.image field upload to, this is where the files will be uploaded to, uploads slash avatars blank is true and null is true. So the user doesn't have to have an avatar. And instead of getting the avatar by saying user profile.avatar, I want to create a function def get avatar self. If self.avatar, then I return self.avatar oops avatar.url. And if not, I can return a default picture. Return slash static slash images slash avatar dot png I'll add a link in the description to this picture if you want it so now we can save and to show this we can just say user profile dot get avatar and if there are a picture we will get it if not we just get the default one so I can save this go to the command line and I have a error here I need to install pip or no I need to install pillow as the error here says so I can just copy this python dash m or just pip install pillow then I can run make migrations and python manage the pi migrate then I can run the server again as you can see here we added one more field avatar to user profile and then I need to go into settings because I need to change a little bit here to set the default location for the uploaded files. Media underscore URL equals slash media and media root equals os.path.join base there media and save. And I also need to go into urls.py and at the bottom here I need to say plus static settings.media url and document root equals settings.media root. So now that you use the development server you can use this to serve Django and also to serve the media files. But once we go to production we need to use a different server for this. And I need to import a few things up here in order to use static and settings. From django.conf import settings. And static is imported from, from django.conf.urls.static import static. And save. Okay, OS is not defined in settings.py, so you need to import this. If you just go to the top and say import OS, run the server, and now there's no error. Perfect. If I go back to my account.html, we can show the picture there or the avatar. At the top here, I have an empty div element, figure, class, image, is. 64 x 64 img src user profile get avatar save and if I refresh now I get the default picture here perfect so now I can click edit profile and make it possible to upload a new avatar here so if I just go into views.py and here we will edit the profile below where the user is saved we can say if request dot files then we know that there is a file that is being uploaded 
avatar equals request dot files avatar user profile equals request dot user dot user profile user profile dot avatar equals avatar and user profile dot save and that's everything we need to do in the back end Django will handle the saving for us and then I can go into edit profile below the email we create a new field avatar div class control mt2 so we get some space I will show the picture above here input type file name avatar id id avatar class input so we get some styling on it and then figure class image is 64 x 64 ing src request that user that user profile dot get avatar there we can save this so if I now refresh you'll see my avatar here and if I click here I can choose to select now I can choose to insert a new picture for that to close the div field so if I just try to find a picture here now maybe the lamp picture save changes and now you can see I get a new picture here which is my new avatar perfect and I can use this all over the project if I want but I'm not going to use much time on adding that because now you already know that this is the way to insert the avatar so now I can go here and set this to done next I want to create a view and template for showing the user this is going to be inside the dashboard app so I just open up dashboard views.py and I can begin with the view at login required def view user request and user id because we want to show a certain user just add a comment get team user and set variables you can scroll up here and copy a little bit of this I can copy these two scroll down and then I get the user by saying user e user equals team dot members dot get id user user id equals user id and then and then below here I can copy the pagination for user date and user month so I can just copy all of this scroll down and paste it here and I don't need to change this at all and I can copy all of this as well and just make a few small changes because I don't need this project and I don't need members and I don't need these three at the bottom and the template also should be view user.html so now I can just save this and see that there is no errors perfect if I go into templates and dashboard.html I can copy the whole template create a new one save it as view user.html and I can remove this thing at the bottom because we don't want to show projects and I don't want to show this team div either so I can remove both of them and instead of saying your time today and similar we want to show the username instead so here we say first of user dot get full name if not user dot username and time so Steinu has that time like that and the same thing if I just copy this scroll down 
I say the same thing there. Perfect. And at the top here, I want to show some breadcrumbs. I can copy the code for this from a different template. Just copy the whole nav. Go to the top, paste it in. Remove one of that. URL will just be view user and pass in user.id and here we can also show the name of the user and the same thing up here we will show the dashboard title we don't want to show that we want to show the username so if i save now we can soon test this i just go back to dashboard.html and here where we list out the members of the team for member in members we can say a href url view user and pass in member.id and we close it at the end there save refresh and i go to the dashboard you we'll see that we don't uh, haven't done anything this month but if i go to previous reverse for view user not found that's because i forgot to import it here but int user id view user name view user and now i think it should work refresh yes so now you can see that i can click both of these so if i click my name okay cannot resolve user id okay so if i go back to views.py okay so if i just go up here where we say this i say all and then dot get id equals user id because we only want to get a user from this team if I now save and refresh, you see that Steinow has its time today. And I can also go back in time here as well. Perfect. So if I go back to the 28, you will see that I did two hours of work on this project. Perfect. And the same with this. If I go back in time, this is also working. Perfect. So now I can go back here. I can set this to done. I can set this to done and I can set this to done. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. Just want to do a little bit change here as well on top because I want to show a little bit information about the user. So if I just copy this column, say is 12, so it fills out the whole screen. Dev class media. Dev class media left figure class image is 64 x 64 mg src user dot user profile dot get avatar and dev class media content p class title is 3 here we can show the username and on the next line p class subtitle is 6 user.email save so if I now refresh you will see a little bit information about the user up here perfect so now it's time to wrap up this part of the series Thanks for following along. I hope you liked it and if you did, please click like and share below. If you want to check out the source code for this project, you will find the link to GitHub in the description below. In the next part of the series, I will make it possible to track time directly using Vue. If you want notification when the next part is published, you need to subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell. See you next time.